Good afternoon, children of God. I saw a bird's eye view of the United States of America. We were soaring as eagles by the Holy Spirit. As I began to emerge through the cloud layer, slowly descending, I could see the entire country. The interesting thing is, I'm not sure at that height how I could even breathe. At first it looked normal enough. Slowly, as I began to descend, it's like doing a slow zoom in on a map where you can see the outlines of the buildings, surrounding mountains. Slowly but surely, they begin to become more visible. Everything was getting closer and clearer. I saw what I'm not sure was literally New York State where America was founded or it was a representation but it was clear as day like watching it on a blu-ray but clearer the resolution was absolutely gorgeous because it was clearer than my natural eye could even see it was vision that God gave me to see what I was able to see there were some lights here and there it appeared to be maybe dusk where it just started getting light but the closer I got the more evident it was it wasn't a bustling thriving metropolis like you would expect for the nation's capital there were a few people wandering around few vehicles driving around honestly there weren't many people that were out and about my thought was Lord that's weird that seems strange that in the nation's capital it seems desolate what happened no answer yet I continued soaring downward at a slow rate of speed as I got closer and closer to the ground. Now I'm sailing over the harbor. Wow, I've never seen the Statue of Liberty that close. But I wanted to circle a few times because what I saw didn't make sense. Instead of standing proud with her head looking to the skies, the torch in her hand, her head was dropped and she was weeping for America and what it had become. No longer the strong institution founded on the principles and the edicts of God. God Almighty, the one that created everything that exists, the only true God, Jesus Christ. The country has turned her back 
on literally its founding father, Father God. As I soared over the water, I began to get inland where I'm just barely above the highest skyscrapers. There was a few flags posted on the buildings. They were dirty and torn like they hadn't been taken care of for some time. It was as if the people they loved this country and stood for their faith in God and what it represents for this country. Were either gone, scared, or had abandoned their posts. My understanding is most of what I was seeing was maybe not literal, a representation, but is as if. I was actually seeing New York City as I can remember it from pictures and videos. I dropped down a little further to look into some of the windows of the buildings as I'm flying between the skyscrapers. <clears throat> There are a few people here and there that were just busy. I'm not sure what they were doing. And again, the reality that there was absence. Absence of people. As I got down further, I began to see more clearly the streets that surround what was once a beautiful city representing a beautiful country, but now is in disrepair, disarray, and is desolate. The wind is blowing garbage around the streets. There's very few people out. Again, not the thriving, bustling metropolis that used to represent a once strong country that stood for God. Now I can see the tent cities where the people are rummaging through the garbage looking for something to eat. There's people just blatantly breaking in to businesses to take what they want because there's nobody there to stop them. This is heartbreaking. I'm astounded that what was once a beautiful, thriving nation is not a broken shell of what she once was. People injecting themselves with needles, fighting with each other over what little things that they could steal out of the garbages. And of course my thought is, where are the people that should be leading this country right now? I think God said, they're scared. They need hope. Some of them have abandoned their faith their posts, they abandon what they used to stand for because it became so discouraged. 
they just couldn't do it anymore. They couldn't fight, they couldn't stand, so they left. Most of them. I'm not talking just a small handful or a minority, I'm talking most of the people. I began to get discouraged. My heart was breaking. My mind filled with wonder and thought, God, what happened? What have we become? Help us, Lord. Finally, I found a lamp post, landed on it, and just sat there. Just sat there thinking. Dear Lord, what do we do? This was once your nation, we have turned our back on you. reality struck me part of this is my own doing dear Lord please forgive me for not fighting for not standing for just giving up for walking away forgive me Lord for not going and doing the things that you have called me to do. Now's the time to get up. Now's the time to fight. Now's the time to stand for what God has given me. But the fight did not include physical violence. My fight is on my knees with my head dropped and my hands raised to the God of the universe. Lord, I give this to you. What can we do? And God said, don't give up. There is still hope. I am still your God. You are still my people. I will give you direction as you seek me. And I know there are people that are out there that are fighting that fight, that are doing what they feel led to do. So I will pray for them as well. But the fight that needs to be fought is for the minds, the hearts, the souls of the people in this world. It's a spiritual battle that can only be won at the hands of an already victorious God. As a vision continues, now I'm on my knees. The vision of the eagle and the city are gone. God brought me to my place where I am, right in the middle of where I live and exist every day of my life. On my knees. And as we seek God for the answers, He'll begin to show each one of us what to do. I would never attempt to try to tell you what to do or what your mission is. God may give me insight about things that He has called you to to inspire you, 
but the call that you're going to receive, the inspiration that you're going to receive, the strength, the ideas, the ability will come from God as you seek Him, as we seek Him together to bring this country back to God so He can put it back into order. Have a good day, children of God.